I'm going to show you how to model the shape of a simple padlock. The point of the tutorial is to show you how to use the sweep command to make the padlock shackle. It won't have all the details of a padlock, but it will have the general form. First thing to do is to create a component. This component will be labeled body. Then we'll create a sketch. We'll go ahead and create this sketch on the ground plane, and I'm going to grab a center rectangle. I'll click on the origin, and then I'll type 15 tab 40. Perfect. Then I'm going to draw some other lines, and I'll draw from this midpoint to here. Then I'll draw from this midpoint to here. Make sure they're coincident. Once again, from the midpoint to here, and then from the midpoint to here. Next, I'll use the equal constraint to make all four lines equal. I could mirror these, but it's just as fast to just draw all four. Now, I'm going to dimension from this point to this point, and I'll say that's 8.5. Now, everything is constrained. I can finish my sketch. I'll press E to extrude, and I'll extrude this up 40. So now, if I orbit, we can see we have the basic shape of a padlock. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select everything from the left, click Fill It, and type 0.5. That'll just round off all the edges. And then padlocks a lot of times have a slice right here so you know which side is the front. So we'll go ahead and do that. Click Create Sketch, click this side, then press P to project. We'll project this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and say OK. Then we'll draw a line. We'll start right here and we'll draw all the way out. Then we'll give this a degrees of 30. Next, we want to make sure that we have our profile large enough to cut everything off. So I'll just draw out this way, then straight over, and then down. I'll use the perpendicular constraint to make this perpendicular, and then I'll just give this a dimension so it's locked off of one, and I'll give this a dimension of one. Perfect, let's finish our sketch. Then I'll orbit so you can see, and I'll press E, and we want to make sure we get all the little bits. So there's some small pieces here. And then we're going to extrude all the way across. So we'll just go straight across, and then we'll say OK. What we've done is we've cut off that section, and then we'll select this, we'll go Modify, Chamfer, we'll give it a 0.1 chamfer, and then say OK. Great. Now we need to activate the top level component, and I'll create a new component, and this will be the shackle. There are many ways to make this. You could use the pipe command, but in this tutorial, I want to show you the sweep command. So we'll create a sketch on the top. We'll press P to project, and we'll say OK. Next, we'll go ahead and draw two circles. We'll draw a circle here, and we'll draw a circle here. We'll make these circles equal and then we'll dimension them at six millimeters. We'll draw a line in between the circles. It has the vertical constraint. Then we'll give it a dimension of 24. Next, we'll draw a line straight from here, perpendicular to the circle. We'll make this line coincident with the center of the circle. Then we'll draw a line from this edge of the circle to here. We can select the collinear constraint to make both of these Collinear. If you accidentally get a perpendicular constraint, you can delete that. Then you can add the collinear constraint. Now they're collinear. And lastly, we want to make these equal. And that centers the circles. Now we just need to center them this direction. We can do that with the horizontal midpoint constraint. So click horizontal vertical. Then if you hold shift on this line, it will show you where the midpoint is. So I'll click here and there. And now everything is locked in place. So let's finish our sketch. Next, we need to make a new sketch, but we don't have the plane to sketch on. So I'll click Construct Plane at Angle. I'll click this center line, and then I'll type 90 degrees and say OK. Then I'll create a sketch on our new plane, and I'll press P to project. I want this center and this center. Press OK. Then I'll draw a rectangle from here. And I'll make sure that this point is coincident. Sometimes that doesn't happen, so you can double click that. Then we'll give it a distance up, let's say 26. 
And now we need to round off these edges. You could use the fillet command or you could draw three point arcs. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the fillet command on both of these and we'll give it a fillet of seven. And then we can finish our sketch. Now you see we have a sketch that is perpendicular to this. Next, we'll click Create Sweep. And it says Select a Profile. We'll select this circle profile, then a path, and we'll select this path. Now notice that it wants to go all the way around. There are two ways to avoid this. We could have made this line a construction line in our original sketch, but we can also uncheck Chain Selection, and then we can unselect this path. So now it only goes here. And then we can select OK. So now we have a body for our shackle. Let's activate the top level component. And we'll go ahead and give this some appearances. Press A on your keyboard. And we can search for brushed. It'll show all the brushed things. I'm going to use stainless steel brush linear short. But you notice it's the wrong color. So I'll double click. And then I'll move this over and get a more brassy color. That kind of looks like brass. And then say done. And then I need some chrome here. So I'll type in chrome. And I'll drop chrome on there, but it's way too shiny. So I'll double click it. And then I'm gonna increase the roughness because nothing is perfect in the real world. I'll click done and close. So now we have a pretty good approximation of our padlock. We could stamp in some text here and some text here if we wanted to, and we could model the inner workings. But the main point of this tutorial is to show you the sweep command. Hopefully you can model a simple padlock on your own.